The public's right to use Rhode Island's shoreline is the focus of a bill at the State House. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian. I'm Mike Montecalvo. A bill recently introduced would give the public more access to fish and the state's shorelines. But a group of property owners opposed this bill, saying it will infringe on their private land. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now live in studio with the story. Anita. Well, Mike and Kim, right now the law states the public has the right to be on an average high water line, the boundary between public and private land. But because of erosion and changing water lines, this bill seeks to change that to 10 feet above the recognizable high tide line. Rhode Island, the ocean state, home to 400 miles of shoreline. The public's right to access the sand and rocky land abutting the Atlantic Ocean and its waterways is the center of a debate. The right to the shore goes back to Roman law, back to Justinian times, where it was viewed the ocean and the shore as what was called the commons. A 1982 Supreme Court decision established the boundary line between private and public property along the shore as the mean or average water line. But State Rep Blake Filippi says during most of the year that boundary is underwater. Filippi introduced a bill that will make that boundary the recognizable water line plus 10 feet into dry land. When there's high tide and the high tide is up to that line, there has to be dry sand for people to use. A group that goes by the acronym STARTERS is made up of anonymous property owners. A state house lobbyist, Christopher Boyle, is representing their opposition to the bill. It's as if the government tomorrow said, we're going to allow someone access to 30 feet of your front lawn. Boyle argues changing the boundary line under this new bill will be considered an unconstitutional taking of someone's personal property without reasonable compensation. For the legislature to try to attempt to move that line inland onto someone's personal property, they can do it, but they have to compensate the landowner for doing that. Now, Filippi is part of a commission studying shoreline access with other lawmakers and environmentalists that will be presenting their study later this week. The bill was referred to the House Judiciary Committee. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.